In the previous tutorial, we have learned AutoCAD 3D basics. Now in this tutorial, we will continue learning next set of AutoCAD 3D commands. To switch to 3D environment, click here and click on 3D modeling. Then to view Z axis, click here on unsaved view and select SE isometric. Then to shift this on this side, click here on this arrow and click on show UCS icon. Then we will start with extrude. Keyboard shortcut for extrude is EXT, enter. For extrude, at first we will create some profile by using line command. Click on line and create one rectangle. Make ortho mode on. Press enter. Now these are individual separate lines. If we extrude these lines, it will create surface model. Click on extrude. Then select these objects. Press enter. Then specify direction on which side you want to create extrude. You can either go below or above. Then specify height. Suppose height is 100. Enter. Then to change the visual style, click here on 2D wireframe and click on shaded. So here this surfaces has been created and if you want to create 3D solid then you will have to convert these lines into single object. To convert this line into single object click here on modify and click on join. Then select all these objects and press enter. Now these objects has been converted into single object. Press escape then click on extrude. Select objects to extrude. I will select this object. Press enter. Then take your cursor above and specify height of 150. Enter. So in this way you can create 3D object using extrude. Then there are some other options in extrude. Type ext for extrude. Press enter. Then select this object. Press enter. Then first option is direction. You can specify height and angle of extrude by specifying two points. Now you will have to specify start point of direction. Right now XY plane is horizontal. If we specify direction in XY plane then it will not create extrude because you will have to specify direction in vertical plane. So to change plane click here on world and you will have to either select right or front. Suppose I will select right. So here XY plane is vertical. Then specify first point. Then make ortho mode off. Take your cursor away. Then here either you can click the point or you can specify length and angle. Suppose I will specify length of 300. Then for angle press tab and specify angle. Suppose angle is 45 degree. Enter. So here this extrude created of 300 length and 45 degree angle. Same way you can create extrude using path option. So for path again we will have to create that path on vertical xy plane. If we create path in the same plane as our extrude sketch then it will not work. So again we will click here and click on right. Then we will create one path using spline command. Click on spline and create one path. Make ortho mode off. Don't make very complicated path. If you want to use complicated path then you will have to use sweep command. Then click on extrude. Then select object to extrude. Enter. Click on path. Then select this path. So here this extrude is created as per path. Again extrude. Then select this object. Press enter. The next option is taper angle. Click on taper angle. Then you will have to specify taper angle. If you specify positive taper angle, then it will create inward extrude. And if you specify negative angle, then it will create outward extrude. Suppose here I will specify angle of 10. Enter. Then take your cursor above and specify height for extrude. Suppose it is 400. Enter. So here this extrude is created with 10 degree angle from all the sides. Then you can also specify height of extrude by giving expressions. 
type ext enter select object enter then click on expression then here you can write any formula so as per that formula it will work out the height and create extrude press enter so as per that it has worked out the height of extrude then for closed shape also if you want to create surface model then type ext enter then click on mode and from here you can control whether you want solid object or surface object click on surface then select object to extrude enter then click on path select this path so here it has created surface model and if you already have created extrude and if you want to modify its sizes i will create one extrude mode solid select this object enter specify height then to modify this object click on it it is showing different grips and two arrows so using this arrow you can control height you can specify extra height or if you want you can reduce the height then from here you can change width make ortho on or from here also you can change dimension and from here you can control taper angle then press escape so as per that your object will get modified i don't want these grids i will turn them off from here then we know that using these planes we can create our sketches on different plane but using this plane you cannot create sketch on inclined plane so for inclined plane you will have to use face option for that face option click here on this arrow near view and here is the face option click on it then you will have to select the face on which you want to work suppose i want to work on this inclined face then press enter so here you can see that your ucs icon is aligned as per that face then we will create one circle on this face click on circle and we will track this midpoint and create one circle we will give radius of 50 enter so here we can see that that circle is created on that plane perfectly then you can convert it into 3d using extrude or press pull command select object enter and specify height so in this way you can create sketches on inclined plane also using face option then if you want to fillet these edges then for that you will have to type fillet edge so here is fillet edge press enter then select edge you want to fillet suppose i want to fillet this edge click on it then press enter then you can control radius by clicking on this radius and specify radius suppose radius is 50 enter and enter so here this fillet is created again enter to repeat last command then using this chain you can create fillet for all the tangent edges suppose i will click on this chain and i will select this edge so here you can see that all these edges got selected then press enter then i will accept the radius of 50 as it is press enter so here this fillet got created then if you want to create fillet for all the edges of one face then again press enter then you will have to use loop option click on loop then select any one edge of the face suppose i will select this edge so here it has selected all the edges of that face then one edge is common for two faces and if you don't want to create on this face but on this face then you will have to click on this next then it will choose other face again next it will come back to original face click on accept press enter you can change the radius or accept the original enter so in this way you can create fillet for edges of the face we have seen that when we click on the object it shows the grip for modification but here after some operation you can see that grips are not shown because of the modification and if you want to show the grips after modification of object also then you will have to use one feature called solid history 
for that click here on solid and here you will have to turn it on if the solid history is on then whatever objects you create later on those can be modified even after some operations also we will remove this object then we will switch back to world and here se isometric then if you want to create blocks or plates then easiest method is this box command click on box and specify first corner point take your cursor away here you can directly give length in x direction suppose it is 500 then press tab then specify length in y direction suppose it is 400 press enter take your cursor above and specify height press enter as we have seen how to modify extrude same way you can modify this box also press escape then next is to create chamfer for that type chamfer edge here is the chamfer edge press enter and select edge for chamfer i want to create chamfer on this edge click on it and press enter then click on distance then specify base surface chamfer distance suppose it is 100 enter then other surface chamfer distance is also 100 enter and press enter so here the chamfer is created again enter you can also create chamfer for all the edges of selected face for that click on loop then select an edge then i want to create for this face click on next and click on accept press enter and click on distance suppose i want distance of 50 enter then again 50 for other face enter and enter so here chamfer is created for all the edges of this face then as we have kept this solid history on therefore we can still modify the size of the box for that press ctrl and take your cursor on the box so here you can see that it is showing the original shape of box click and from here you can modify the size of box so as per that it will update it so in this way you can use chamfer age and solid history then you can also modify using press pull just click on press pull and click on the face give the direction and the distance so using press pull also you can modify object or if you want to create hole take inside and click so it will create hole press escape undo it then next is 3d mirror command name is mirror 3d click then select object to mirror i will select this object press enter then you will have to specify first point of the plane around which you want to mirror suppose i want to create mirror of this object around this surface then we will specify first point of this surface here then specify second point and third point then delete source object no so here mirror is created around that face again press enter select object enter then you can also define plane using either xy yz or zx plane suppose again i want to mirror around this face so this face is zx plane so click on this zx then you will have to specify your 0, 0 point for zx so i want to mirror around this plane so i will specify one of the point of this plane and click on no so in this way also you can create 3d mirror then suppose i will fillet these edges fillet edge and i will select these edges this one and this one enter then radius i will give 150 enter enter now suppose i want to align this object vertically on this face that means i want to make it vertical and place it on this face so for that you can use this 3d align command click on 3d align then select object you want to align press enter then you will have to specify reference points 
so i want to align this bottom face so i will choose three points of that surface so i will choose this point as the first point this as the second point and this as the third point then you will have to specify where it will get aligned suppose i want to align this first point at this end point then I want to align second point on this line so I will click on this end point and third point I want to align on this side so you can also specify point in empty space for that you will have to keep this ortho mode on then it will be easy click the point and here this object got aligned with this face so in this way you can use 3d align then suppose I want to rotate it and make it in this way. So for that you can use 3D rotate. Click, select this object, enter, then specify base point. Suppose I want to rotate around the same point. So I will not choose any base point. Then I want to rotate it in this way. Therefore I will have to choose this blue color. So if you want to rotate in this way, then you will have to choose this red color. So I want to rotate it in this way. So click on this blue. Once it gets golden, click on it. Then specify the angle. Or if you keep ortho on, then you can specify in the increment of 90 degree very easily. Then you will have to click point on this direction. And press escape. So in this way you can rotate the objects also. Same way suppose I want to make this object vertical. So 3D rotate. Select this object, enter, then I want to rotate it around this point. So I will define here this point as a base point. Then I want to make it vertical. That means I will have to rotate as per a green color. So click on green color. Then it gets rotated in anti-clockwise direction. If you want to rotate it in clockwise direction, then you will have to specify negative sign, negative 90, enter. So in this way, we can rotate 3D objects. So that's all for now. In the next tutorial, we will solve some exercises based on what we learn in this tutorial. And after that, we will learn next set of 3D commands. So thanks for watching. We will stop here.